Let us prove the format's little theorem. It says if p is a prime and a is an integer relatively prime to p, then a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 modulo p. So we start the proof by considering the integers 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 p minus 1. So we are considering exactly p minus 1 of the integers. They are all relatively prime to p and they leave the remainder 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, p minus. Of course, it's obvious that they leave the remainder 1, 2, 3, p and dot, 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 p minus 1 when divided by p. Now, let us consider an integer a relatively prime to p. So, we consider integer a relatively prime to p. In other words, a is not a multiple of p or a is not divisible by p. Now, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 p minus 1 leaves remainder 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 p minus 1. What about the integer a into 1, comma, a into 2, a into 3, comma, dot, 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 a into p minus 1? They are all relatively prime to p. P does not divide A, P cannot divide 2 into A because if P divides 2 into A, P has to divide either 2 or A and similarly P cannot divide 3 into A because if P divide uh, 3 into A, P has to divide 3 or A and P cannot divide A into P minus 1 because P neither divides P minus 1 nor is it that P divides A. So they are all relatively prime to P, so they cannot leave the remainder 0. But what about other remainder? Observe that if a i is congruent to a j modulo p, then we take a j to the left hand side and take a common a times i minus j is congruent to 0 mod p. What does that mean? That means that a into i minus j is a multiple of p. But you see that i and j are running from 1 to p minus 1, comma, i comma j greater than or equal to 1, less than or equal to p minus 1. So when is it that a into i minus j is congruent to 0 mod p, which is true? Now, a into i minus j is congruent to 0 in order that p divides a into i minus j, but p does not divide a. We are choosing a to be relatively prime to p. So, which is true if i equal to 0, but uh, sorry, i equal to j, but you see that i and j are lying between 1 and p minus 1. So, their difference cannot be equal to p. Their difference cannot be equal to minus p, so which is true if i equal to j and only if. So you see that a into 1, a into 2, a into 3 dot dot dot. I don't know what is the remainder left out when divided by p, but I know that the remainders are all different because they are not congruent to each other. So, if i is different from j, then a i is not congruent to a j for i comma j lying between 1 and p minus 1. So, we can say loosely that a into 1, a into 2, a into 3 dot 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 a into p minus 1 leaves p minus 1 number of different remainders when divided by p. So, a may be negative. So, what kind, what do we mean by remainder makes uh, some kind of sense. So, we say that it is loosely that a into 1, a into 2, a into 3 into a into p minus 1 leaves p minus 1 number of different remainder when divided by p. That is, that is a into 1 into a into 2 into a into 3 dot 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 a into p minus 1 are congruent to 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, p minus 1, but in some order, maybe a into 1 is congruent to 5, a into 2 is congruent to 7, but they are all congruent pairwise, but uh, the order of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 may not be same. But whatever be the order, a into 1 into a into 2 into a into 3 dot, 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 
into a into p minus 1 must be congruent to 1 into 2 into 3 into dot 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 into p minus 1 mod p. Next, we how many a are there? 1, 2, 3, dot dot dot, p minus 1 of them. So, a to the power p minus 1, 1, 2, 3, dot dot dot, into factorial p minus 1 is congruent to factorial p minus 1 mod p. Let us take factorial p minus 1 to the left hand side and take common as well. So, we will be left out with a to the power p minus 1 minus 1 is congruent to 0 mod p. But you see that a factorial p minus 1 and p are relatively prime p does not divide factorial p minus 1. So, p has to divide a to the power p minus 1 minus 1. That is same as saying a to the power p minus 1 is congruent to 1 mod p. And we are done.